Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, day before Election Day. Aaron, we know a lot of folks are going to be getting out today and or also tomorrow. Weather-wise, uh, what do they need to be looking at? Well, as we welcome in our Election Day, we are talking about the potential for some hazardous conditions across a large portion of the state. Uh, as we are watching our next storm system already beginning to take shape out towards the Aleutians, uh, we've got some blizzard warnings, winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories, even some high winds to be expected. Uh, of course, uh, beginning to see the initial impacts later this evening out towards Southwest Alaska. Uh, that is not. Uh, that is where we're not only going to see those blizzard conditions, but the potential for some snow and ice. So be prepared for uh, some whiteout conditions and that difficult travel at times. Here in South Central, uh, we got some high winds looking likely for uh, Anchorage and higher elevations, as well as uh, the uh, possibility that we could see up to 18 inches of snowfall for parts of South Central. So. These are the major storm impacts we're talking about as we welcome into your Tuesday winds for Anchorage. East to southeast, gusting to 75 miles per hour, uh, primarily going to impact Turnigan Arm and Hillside. Of course, the Anchorage Bowl will see some gusty conditions, but they won't be as strong. And then when it comes to the snowfall, that heavy snow does look likely. 12 to 18 inches for the Seward Highway, uh, for uh, out towards uh, to uh, the uh, Turnigan Pass, as well as Moose Pass, up to 9 inches for southwest Alaska, and 10 to 18 inches expected for Thompson Pass. And we will see those whiteout conditions, so travel will be difficult. So for today, uh, you can see that activity that we did see through the overnight hours, that's beginning to taper off. We're still seeing some light areas of snow showers, uh, but here over the next couple of hours, we should see that come to an end with some sunshine breaks uh, to be expected. And then you can see later this evening, uh, we're beginning to see that uh, the rain beginning to build through Kodiak and then eventually make an approach towards uh, coastal regions of South Central. This is where we're going to see that transition to some snow and some areas of wintry mix looking likely as we welcome in the overnight hours on into Tuesday. Uh, so expect to see some deteriorating conditions as we welcome in your election day. Uh, primarily expecting to see the heaviest snowfall uh, again out towards uh, uh, eastern parts of the Kenai, western Prince William Sound, and again, Thompson Pass, as well as Valdez, seeing that possibility as well. Western parts of the Kenai into the Anchorage Bowl and the Valley may stay a bit on the drier side. Uh, that's largely going to be due to our downsloping that we will see as we welcome in our Tuesday. And that's not to say that we're not going to see some snow. We will, but it will not be uh, any significant amount to be expected. We may see uh, about one to three inches uh, for the Anchorage Bowl. Of course, that could change, but right now it looks like we'll be on the lower end uh, when it comes to the amount of snow that we will see. So looking at that snow total forecast today, that activity tapering off, nothing significant. But there it is. You can see overnight on into our Tuesday uh, how that snow activity is going to ramp up. So if you live uh, in the eastern Kenai, western Prince William Sound, through uh, the parts of the Chugach Range, you can see the possibility that we could see up to uh, two feet of snowfall. And you can see western parts of South Central largely staying on the drier side compared to the rest of the region. And that's due to our winds that we will see as we welcome in your election day. Temperatures today expected to warm into the mid to upper 30s. Uh, that means those snow-packed roads will become slushy as we welcome in the remainder of the day. Uh, temperatures across the state, 25 in uh, Ukiavik, 25 as well in Dead Horse. Uh, out towards southwest Alaska, you can expect to see that snow and uh, areas of ice to accumulate as we welcome in the overnight on into your Tuesday as well. So for your election day, 40 degrees to be expected. Watching those slushy and slick conditions as well with some hazardous travel. We dry out for the most part into Wednesday outside of some coastal activity that will remain. All right. Thanks, Aaron. We'll definitely keep our eye to that.